are starting a series of a deep dive on the Les Paul from Gibson and Epiphone. Today we're starting that series off right by looking at the Epiphone and Gibson slash Les Paul. We're going to take a deep dive, drop a comment, let us know which one you're looking for, and we're going to get to work, we're going to play them, we're going to put them on the bench and talk specs, and we're going to give you all the information you need to make the best buy when it comes to these beautiful, beautiful slash Les Pauls. Let's do it. Play and Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera as always, and this is Play and Trade Guitars where we play it and trade it. We are kicking off a new series, taking a deep dive in the Gibson and Epiphone Les Paul, looking at all the new models that are available to you, and we partnered with Zounds to get our hands on the inventory, the best new Les Pauls from Epiphone and Gibson, and we are kicking this off right with this beauty in this case. If you like Guns N' Roses, if you like Slash, why don't we get to work on taking a look at this incredible guitar. Zach, let's flip these latches. All right, let's take a look at a brand new Gibson Les Paul Slash Anaconda Burst. This is called the Gibson Slash Les Paul Standard, and it combines traits of all the beautiful Les Paul guitars that you've seen Slash play all, over all these years. In fact, it even has a new release on uh, Gibson Records, which is a really cool new thing. Uh, sounds really cool, great playing as always, but this green Anaconda Burst and the features of this beautiful Gibson guitar. We'll talk about them today, we'll go over them on the bench and we'll plug it in and play it. But what we want to do is give you all the right info to figure out if this is the guitar for you. Drop a comment as we go, let us know if you're shopping and remember to subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars because you're going to see plenty more where this comes from. We're also giving away a beautiful Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Stay tuned to get the info for the giveaway link. We'll have it in this video, so keep watching. Now, look at this, Gibson Slash Les Paul Standard, Anaconda Burst. You know we love green guitars. Beautiful AAA flamed maple top. Uh, I love the, I love that beautiful flame with that dark burst around the edge, nice cream binding. Black all the way around on the back and neck. Comfortable uh, 50 style C-shaped neck. Slash's signature up here on the truss rod. Mother of Pearl Gibson inlay, hard to beat. And uh, we'll talk about all the attributes, but I can't wait to play it. I'm sure they wound the pickups a little hotter to get that slash output that we would want out of a guitar like this. But a beautiful piece of rosewood, 22 frets, C-shaped neck. Um, pretty cool, it looks like an ABR1 bridge. And uh, our job is just to take a deep dive and let you know if this is a guitar that you'd wanna buy. If you're interested in buying this guitar, if you think this guitar is for you, we have a link down below with Zounds. We have a storefront on Zounds, zounds.com slash play and trade gear list. And uh, our job is to be honest, open, and let this thing rip and tell you all the goods, all the pros, all the cons, and let you make the decision. So drop a comment as we go. Let's hit the bench and get to work on some specs before we play this beauty. First, let's take a look at all the case candy because there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Especially for this guitar, you get a pack of four signature slash uh, picks from Dunlop, which is a nice touch. You get also included on the guitar are strap locks. So you don't usually see that, but these are uh, Grover strap locks that come factory installed. And you get, of course, the beautiful bench photo from Quality Control over at Gibson with warranty card and a pre-packed checklist. Gibson cleaning cloth. This is actually pretty cool. They do give you a pick card, but check this out. This guitar is not drilled for a pick card. So you make the decision. If you want to leave it without, I think that looks pretty sweet. Uh, they have not pre-drilled holes. So if you get brave and decide you've got to have this black pick guard, you'll be putting your own holes in the guitar. But that's included as well. Of course, the owner's manual, the Gibson strap. If you're not about rocking Slash's signature up on the truss rod cover, you can put a blank on. And last but not least, this is your best friend. I use this all the time. This is a beautiful multi-tool from Gibson for adjusting truss rod, uh, bridge, anything, intonation, and then uh, the bag to packages all in. Guitar weighs in at 8.75 pounds, so eight and three quarter pounds. So it's actually not terribly heavy. Uh, for a guitar with no weight relief, that's actually a pretty light Les Paul. So of course it's got the maple cap, triple A flame on that Anaconda Burst. So why don't we pull the strings off, we'll get a few more detailed specs before we plug it in and play it. 
So this guitar retails brand new for $29.99. And a common question with a brand new guitar is how is Gibson's quality control? How are these coming off the line? I can tell you that this guitar, we have not done a thing to this guitar. So what we're talking about today is exactly from the factory, exactly from Zounds. So as I lift out these pickups, we're looking at a set of uh, Burst Bucker 2, El Nico 2 uh, pickups. This bridge reads uh, 8.5 and the neck here is going to read 8.2. And uh, you can see on the interior here, you do get a look at the maple cap and then Les Paul uh, slash standard in the cavity there. Looks like they give you plenty of lead wire to work with, which is always nice. The action out of the box is great from Gibson. Um, this guitar, I don't see any cosmetic blemishes, but the one thing to point out, if you're gonna spend $3,000, a lot of people talk about the neck shape. If you don't like the thicker 50s profile, keep that in mind because compared to the 60s slim taper neck that you'll find on, for example, at the same price point, the Les Paul Standard 60s, this will have a slightly thicker neck. So if that's not what you're looking for, keep that in mind. But you also have those special finishes just on the Slash Les Paul Standard, and you have those slightly hotter pickups to give you that sound. The neck uh, measurements here is going to be 0.88 inches at the first fret, and we're going to come up to a 0.96 inches at the 12th fret. And again, that C-shaped with kind of a 50s profile, so a little bit thicker, uh, enough to grab onto. Dark finish all the way down the neck, dark finish on the back of the guitar. And I'll go ahead and pull off these uh, control cavities. So inside the control cavity, we have hand-wired electronics and nice uh, orange drop capacitors in there, which is a nice touch. And uh, done by hand. I like to see that personally. Got 50 style wiring here on this Les Paul harness. Put back together, let's check out some DI clean tones and Exalnico 2 uh, pickups on this slash Les Paul standard. And then let's fire up a track and let this thing rip. I'm super excited to play it. It honestly feels great in the hands. Um, if you like a slightly thicker neck, don't worry, it's not a baseball bat, but it has a little bit more to grab onto. And me personally, I can really appreciate that. So this guitar feels absolutely phenomenal in the hands, $29.99. We've got a link down below if you want to check it out online. Let's plug it in and play it. I can't wait to do it. Here we are looking at Clean Tones DI. So you're just hearing these Burst Bucker El Nico 2 pickups, uh, hotter pickups. And I'll tell you what, the way this guitar is set up feels absolutely great in my hands. I love the neck shape, C50's profile. And here's a listen to that, to that bridge pickup.
I can tell you that this guitar feels absolutely great in my hands. I love the 50s profile neck. Action out of the box was great. Setup out of the box was great. I got no complaints. Uh, it's well worth your money. The pickups sound fantastic, I think, if you're looking for that hard edge sound. And even when we cleaned it up, it sounded great too. So check out those links. Make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna be comparing this to the Epiphone slash Les Paul. And I uh, can't wait to do that as well. Check out that video. We'll see you guys in the next one for Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach. We'll see you guys on the next video.